The future, what a concept. We've all wished we could peer forward into the future, but unfortunately none of us are Nostradamus, legendary sayer of Suf with a pension for predictions. Now many of his predictions have come true, but let's hope that these ones don't. I'm Taylor Smith, and this is Top 5 Scary Nostradamus Predictions You Should Pray Don't Come True. Let's hop right to it. Number 5. World War 3 In his big book of predictions known as his quatrains, Nostradamus wrote that seven months the Great War, people dead of evil doing. Rowan Evru shall not fall to the king. Now if you've watched any of our videos on Nostradamus, you'll know that he usually keeps his predictions pretty vague and cryptic, as a centuries old mystic astrologer is wont to do. But here he's treating us to a prediction so easy to read, even I can follow along. Nostradamus predicts that there will be a great war, and that if the quatrain is anything to go off of, Europe will be the theater for the conflict. But in a small hope spot for the city of Rouen, France, they are not going to fall to the king. Good for them. That's the only city he specified is going to be okay. Now who could this king be referring to? A world leader? An army maybe? The mascot for Burger King? I know if any fast food mascot is going to start a world war, it is absolutely that guy. Although Grimace has always been a wild card. Don't trust him even a little bit. Now obviously jokes aside, this is a tense subject. The current situation in Europe is already a cause for serious global stress and no one wants to see it develop any further, especially into a great war. Although that's a bit of a misnomer, isn't it? I'm not sure if great is the right word to describe any wars, maybe in size, sure, but I don't think anyone involved in an international war would describe it to you as a great time. The quatrain doesn't specify when, but with the world watching Europe now, it's definitely on the back of all of our minds that we hope this doesn't come true. Let's take a break from bumming each other out talking about global conflicts. You having fun with the channel? Toss the subscribe our way to catch it all. Number 4. Asteroids. A great fire will fall from the sky for three nights. The cause will appear both stupefying and marvelous. Shortly afterwards, there will be an earthquake. Ever since a big rock wiped out the dinosaurs, I think it's been a little bit on the back of our minds worrying that maybe something like that might happen to us someday. If something is going to stop a T-Rex, I don't even feel a little bit confident about my odds. This quatrain here makes it seem like we've got to be watching the skies. And while I certainly hope this is just Nostradamus referring to the world's best 4th of July celebration and a whole long weekend fireworks session, people who spend a whole lot more time than me reading about Nostradamus theorize that this could be referring to an asteroid strike on our sweet blue planet, which is going to be both stupefying and marvelous, which honestly sounds very, very nice were it not for the earthquake. Lucky for us, and terrible for extinction event enthusiasts, sorry, our good friends at NASA have recently demonstrated their DART technology, short for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. And I gotta wonder how many acronyms they tried before landing on that one, because DART sounds so clean. It's a system in place to change the trajectory of asteroids, successfully, no less. Just a few weeks ago, for the first time in humanity's history, we changed the path of a celestial object. So take that, Nostradamus. Bet you didn't predict we were gonna go to space to push something out of the way. And hey, asteroids, you think you're so tough? Well take that never ending cosmos and unending might of the eternal stars. We're just gonna push you right out of the way. We don't care. Number three, Celestial Fire. And before we move forward, we really gotta think of a nickname for this guy. Nostradamus is just a mouthful and a half. Mussy? No, that's, that's way worse. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna keep calling him Nostradamus for now. You know what, if you ghouls and goblins can think of a good Nostradamus nickname, throw that down in the comments because I am spending so much of time saying this guy's name. Our favorite Farsi and French man with no good nicknames wrote in his big book of predictions that there will be a celestial fire on the royal edifice. So what does that mean for us? What is a celestial fire if not a Destiny 2 melee ability? Warlocks are gonna dominate a new crucible map? It's unlikely, as Nostradamus' predictions on Destiny's meta have frequently been inaccurate, and most historians believe he actually would have played a Voidwalker instead of a Dawnblade. Experts in transcribing Nostradamus' work believe that this excerpt from his poetry could be referring to the destruction of the royal palace, with many believing it to refer to the royal family in the UK. So should King Charles put a big fireproof umbrella over Buckingham Palace? Some have suggested that this could be far more dramatic referring to Buckingham Palace being completely destroyed and from its ashes a new power rising. The prophet continues to say that an unlikely alliance will occur of two great powers that will come together. Oh, who would this new world order be? Benevolent to lead us to a new golden age or dark new overlords to oppress us all? It's always a possibility that it could be reptile people. Number two, 
man-eating. No abbots, monks, no novices to learn. Honey shall cost far more than candle wax. So high the price of wheat, that man is stirred his fellow man to eat in his despair. Now, at first, this seems like the ramblings of an old man who just came back from Walmart and saw the price of honey and is going off on a tirade. But that little snippet about man eating his fellow man sticks out just a little bit, doesn't it? This prediction is pretty directly doomsaying with our good friend and master of mysticism, Nostradamus, suggesting that in the future, things are going to get so bad that food is going to become so expensive that the common fella won't be able to afford any honey, wheat, or Honey Nut Cheerios, and will be pushed in desperation to start eating his fellow man. Hey, there really was not a lot going on back then if the scariest thing he could think of was honey getting so expensive that it would cause a full-on societal breakdown and cause us all to start eating man. You think they're gonna sell that in grocery stores? Obviously this one is a bit drastic as far as his predictions go, and definitely a bit scary unless you're the kind of person that watches The Walking Dead and wishes, gosh, I wish that was me. And if you are, you should probably talk to someone, they just want to help. But there is some truth to this. Prices of basic groceries are going up and up every year. I mean, you can walk into the Walmart and see the price of honey yourself. With inflation creeping its ugly little head a little more each year. It's been a consistent concern as well. The bees are going to go extinct in our lifetime, with the population of honeybees declining rapidly yearly. For our sake, and the bees, we need to do something to save the planet. If not just for the ecosystem and the planet as a whole, but also because apparently if we run out of honey, that's the first thing that causes us to all start going Texas Chainsaw Massacre on each other. Number one, great discord. The trumpet shakes with great discord, an agreement broken, lifting the face to heaven. The bloody mouth will swim with blood. The face anointed with milk and honey lies on the ground. Like most of Nostradamus' writings, this one sounds a bit like the opening monologue to one of the Lord of the Rings movies. And wow, hey, honey again. H honey was a really serious cause of concern for this guy. I think if nothing else, Nostradamus took his morning tea incredibly seriously. So besides crying over spilled milk and honey, what do the experts have to say about this one? Was Nostradamus banned from his Discord server and riding out against the tyrannical mods? Well, like most of the predictions on this list, this unnerving uh, quatrain seems to suggest that dire violence will plague us, with unrest between the classes leading to full-scale rebellion and riots. This little ditty seems to support that, with Nostradamus writing that sooner and later you will see great changes made, dreadful horrors and vengeances. Well, I don't know about you, but I support great changes definitely, though I'm a little less sure about dreadful horrors and vengeances. The last few years have seen more civil unrest than ever, with it seeming like there's a mass scale protest or riot every couple of weeks somewhere in the world. It's easy to flick on the news and see that and wonder if it's eventually going to hit a boiling point and when it does, if we'll see some serious changes, or at the very least, some positive progress towards the price of honey. Because I'm really not looking to get eaten by anyone anytime soon. I'm, I'm just, look at me, I'm so twiggy, I will barely even make a good snack. Just, just pass me over, okay? That's all for this one, my little ghouls and goblins. It's always a pleasure. If you want one of my predictions, I predict that you'll be back soon in our next video, and I'll see you there.